welcome back. It's Wednesday the 19th of August today and we have had serious rain over the last couple of days. Here in South Wales we've had um, roads collapsing, a bridge collapsed, um, we had so much rain come down in 20 minutes that an entire pavement fell into a river below underneath. So it has been really really bad weather here but I think the allotments have seemed to enjoy it because everything here is looking really overgrown. All of the paths um, are really long now and a lot of the weeds are coming back up but also my rhubarb has gone insane it's grown so big so I'm really pleased with that but anyway because I was feeling a little bit glum from this weather we've had recently I've decided to come down to the plot this afternoon and harvest my first lot of main crop potatoes. Now these main crop potatoes that I'm going to be harvesting today are called Highland Burgundy. Um, so they're a little bit different, they are kind of red potatoes even if you cut them in half they're red and I've never grown this variety before but I'm super excited to be giving it a go. I had a quick look up on these potatoes earlier today and they were first found, or the first records um, date back to about 1936. So obviously they've been around for a lot longer than that. But one of the first kind of um, bits of information that can be found about them is in 1936, they were served um, as a special dinner at the Savoy in London. So quite interesting. So obviously these potatoes have been around much longer than 1936 but I thought that was a really lovely story and I'll link that below in the description if you're interested in reading any further about that. Now I got these um, potatoes in a three pack um, that included salad blue and Mayan gold and then the Highland Burgundy and I thought it was so interesting to try and grow something a little bit different. Now the reason that red and blue potatoes um, are quite rare is because they're really low yielding which means commercially they're just not a viable crop to grow but because of that I thought oh, it was so fun to have a go so I'm dead excited today to be harvesting my first lot. Now um, with a main crop potato, you usually, um, like a normal main crop potato, you want to harvest that at around 20 weeks. And an early main crop is around 15 weeks. So I was having a look at my notes earlier today and I planted these on March the 28th, which is about 117 days, which is about 16 and a half weeks from now. So I am harvesting them fairly early, but they were um, earthed up with grass and they weren't they weren't buried very deep so I don't think I'm going to be getting a really big harvest today so because I wanted cheering up and I'm sure you feel like being cheered up too if you've had this horrible weather in the UK recently I thought we'll get these harvested today and hopefully get a few meals out of them but any of the green ones that have been kind of maybe exposed to the elements can be saved for seed for next year talking about all this bad weather it suddenly got much greyer than a minute ago so I need to get these out of the ground before the heavens open. Um, I'm going to be harvesting this lot of potatoes today. I do have another row of um, Highland Burgundy down there but I'm not going to worry about harvesting those ones today. They can grow on a little bit quicker um, or they can grow on a little bit more. So with these ones because this is my dig allotment I'm just going to get the fork out and get these ones out of the ground. Fingers crossed it's a massive crop and it's gonna weigh loads. Here's a quick look at the harvest. Um, it's not bad to be honest, but it was quite dry and quite wet in different places uh, where they were growing. And a couple of them have started sprouting already. So um, yeah, not sure what I'm gonna do with those ones. But also one thing that is very noticeable is quite a lot of these potatoes have scab. Um, I'll see if I can find one. 
don't know if you can see there but it's really quite scabby and I think that is due to the fact that it was really dry in May I haven't watered these but I have kept earthing them up with the grass clippings and one thing grass clippings can do is kind of form a mat over the top of the soil which means if it got quite dry it would be quite hard for that water to penetrate so maybe this is a variety that is prone to scab but don't worry you can still eat them if they have got scab it's just um the scabs are formed by a bacteria but it's quite prone to attacking potatoes when it's been really dry but anyway what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get home get these washed um and then we can have a little bit of a closer look at them by the way, um, if you're planning on storing your potatoes long term over the winter, it's really important that you don't wash them. It's not advisable, but we get through so many potatoes at home, they don't last very long. And I always like to wash them just to have a little bit of a better look at all of them. The ones that I'm gonna be selecting for my seed potatoes won't get washed at all. So it's actually the next day now and as you can see we've gone from rainstorms to really windy storms so I do apologise I'm not able to finish the video in the way that I wanted but as you can see so much wind all of my beans have been knocked over everywhere so it is so blustery out there but let's now have a look at the harvest unfortunately as you can see um, they are very scabby and covered in um, kind of holes really there were so many wood lice and slugs in that area when I actually harvested all of the potatoes unfortunately I don't think they did very well at all um, and with the scab I mean that usually comes from sporadic watering so it's really interesting but one thing that I will say is when I had these delivered from Marshall's seed I do remember that actually most of the pack were very scabby so I did ring them up and sent them a picture of them and they agreed they did look quite scabby and they sent me out a new pack but I don't think I actually threw that pack out I did still actually use it so maybe that's the reason why they're so bad but I have managed to find um, enough really nice clean ones that I can use as seed potato next year so I'm quite happy with that um, but now let's have a look and actually see what these potatoes look like because they're so brown even harvesting them was really hard actually because with a normal potato you usually see them have a lot of mud on but you can kind of see all the see the white through but these ones are pretty much just like mud colored and um, I was hoping as well that these were going to be pink all the way through but I obviously got that wrong um, because as you can see there there is white through through there and also where it had um, started sprouting at the very end there it was green so I you're still able to know if these have gone green so you don't have to eat that bit but with this one here the green bit just peeled straight off anyway let's cut it inside see what it looks like there you go it's still quite pink inside so I can't wait to boil these and make mashed potato from them um, because I think they're going to be really good and I think the kids are really going to love these especially if you want to do chips or something like that and there's the centre of another one that looks a little bit darker actually so yeah pretty happy really with what they look like on the inside but it is just unfortunate how scabby they are I did have a quick look online at the reviews actually from Marshall Seeds but there was no bad reviews whatsoever somebody just said they were really good so i'm going to definitely do much more homework on these potatoes and just see if it was the fact that i got you know a, a pretty poor selection or actually they're quite prone to scab and stuff but like i said i have managed to get eight that i can save for next year but anyway i'm gonna leave the video here now thank you so much for watching today if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you be notified of all of my latest videos if you've enjoyed watching this video youtube have some other videos up on the screen now that they think you'll like and i'll also put some more videos in the description thanks very much i'll see you in the next episode bye